It was about power. I had a see-through desk. First, it was the documentary Divide and Conquer. No! Then it was the miniseries The Loudest Voice. I could pluck you out and move you to the front of the line, but I need to know that you're loyal. After that, it was the movie Bombshell. Three movies that end up focusing on the sexual harassment accusations against Roger Ailes, former president of Fox News. Now, why weren't there any movies about other news figures that had the same accusations against them? Names such as Matt Lauer or Charlie Rose. Did you ever read the accusations against Charlie Rose? Ugh. Well, the reason is simple. Roger Ailes pushed for a fair and balanced approach to news on his network. He did things like provide in-depth coverage on the national debt crisis or problems with unemployment during the Obama era. Hollywood tends to frown on that type of thing. I must also add that though Roger Ailes was a very brilliant and savvy man, he was no saint. I know, I worked for him for three years and I actually remember him as someone who had a great sense of humor. One of his lines was that the beauty of Bill O'Reilly's success on cable news is that he was so easy to work with. Now, unfortunately for me, I, I had a, a falling out with him during the Great Recession. And I gotta say, I was not perfect myself back in those days. But now over 10 years later, I'm looking back at him and saying, this is the man who taught me the ins and outs of politics. This is the man who taught me how to operate in the media business. He taught me how to know the audience. He taught me how to use strengths such as likability and charisma. And I've used this in my career and it's really helped me out. That's why it's good to see that the next movie about Roger Ailes portrays him in a positive light. The documentary titled Man in the Arena is narrated by Hollywood conservative John Voight. Voight said in a recent interview, the media always portrays Roger negatively and it was important for me to show him as the wonderful man he was. The only thing I can say about those other portraits of him is that they're wrong. It's very important that people see Roger speak for himself. I gotta agree for myself, it's time for someone to focus on this man's accomplishments and what he did for people. I mean, look at his accomplishments. If you go to a history book from the 60s on, he was behind a lot of it. It's absolutely incredible. And remember, Hollywood is not something that often sways people to the right. You know, usually that's a, a, an industry that uses its influence to sway people to the left. This movie is a real rarity, so I strongly recommend that you check it out.